In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a Minecraft world with only one heart, like I have right now. Sorry, it's been a while since I've recorded any videos. I've just been kind of lazy when it comes to recording videos, and I had no idea what to do for videos other than like survival and stuff like that. And I just, I don't really like recording survival because I just don't really find a purpose to it exactly a whole lot. But anyways, let's just get started with the video. Um, I'm s like I said, I'm sorry again, but let's just get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to search for NBT Explorer. Explorer, like that. And you should find a uh, NBT Explorer download. Now I think it shows more results on Google, but I'm on DuckDuckGo right now, so um, yeah. But I also will put a download link in the description if you want to do that instead, because the one that I have right now is an older version, like a really old version, so I don't know if it's gonna be any different. But anyways, so the first thing you want to do is you need to locate wherever you put the NBT Explorer uh, application. So mine would be in a Minecraft folder, so let me find it real quick, Minecraft Editors. Um, yeah, I'll try and hurry up with some more videos and start posting more or continuously like I was, or I wasn't actually posting that fast, but um, anyway, so what you want to do once you open up in BT Explorer is uh, you have to go into your save file. So you need to go to your root directory, which if you don't know what root directory means, it's basically just your, your Minecraft folder. So wherever you stored your Minecraft at, um, that's where you want to go, and then you got to find your saves file. And, and yeah, so once you're in your saves file, it says saves, you know, and then all of your saves. So whichever save you want to edit, go down to that save and click this little plus button, okay? And then what you want to do is, oh, I just want to mention something. If you're on like a really, really old version, I don't know if this is going to work, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go to level.dat, and then you got to open up level.dat and go into this little data thing here, okay? And then the first thing you want to do is you want to go into players. And after you've gone into players, you will have a bunch of things that says like abilities, attributes, brain, stuff like that. Um, just don't try not to mess with this unless you know what you're doing because you can mess up your world and I don't want that to happen. Don't mess up your world, please, okay? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into attributes and you're gonna click on the first one, or at least it's the first one for me, which says two entities or entries which these all show entries as well but once you click on that it should say base 20 name generic dot max health and uh, once you open that up and it says this that's basically how much health you have now what you need to do is you need to double click on your base health but I'm just gonna tell you if you want to change your health to be 2 um, change it to be uh, or if you want it to have where your character has one heart um, change it to be 2 or if you want him to have two hearts, change it to be four. Or if you want him to have three hearts, change it to six, so on and so on. So I'm not going to actually change it because this is on a world that I play every now and then. So I don't want to mess up that world. But after you do change it, um, all you need to do is click your save all modified tags after you've, you've changed it. And after you're done with that, um, basically that's about it. You should be able to load in your world and it should have the however many hearts you put. Now I'm going to warn you one thing real quick, if you die, it's going to reset the health back to the original starting amount, or at least it did for me. So um, I'm not sure if it will for you, it probably will more than likely, but um, yep, that's it for the tutorial. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe. Catch you all later. Have a great day. Goodbye.